What's going on everybody? This is DYDXJ and also here and today I am going to show you guys how I do my go wipes. Now I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of go wipe videos before on YouTube, but this one might be a little bit different, so please pay close attention. Now I've followed many go wipe videos online, I've done my own tweaking, um, I've been doing this for quite some time now. Um, I do this in every single war attack and I feel like I'm finally getting down you know, the small kinks and everything out of it. <coughs> <clears throat> so first let's go over my most recent um war attack war just started four hours ago for us so this is pretty new um the sixth i took out the 11th uh if you guys can hear the sound i'm sorry i turned it off because it's way too loud but uh let's go ahead and get right into it let's go to the replay here now let me pause this really quickly so you guys can just see my troop complexion down here um biggest thing here three golem three pekka ten wizard seven wall breakers and then the extra troop, you can use whatever the hell you want. I don't care if you use a goblin. Um, but I got one archer in there. For my clan castle, I have seven wizards and two archers. Level 10 king, level 7 queen. One heal spell, two rage spells, and one jump spell. Now, the main guideline that I like to follow is for every golem you use, use a P.E.K.K.A. behind him. Um, golem is an awesome distraction, but you're going to need to do some damage behind him. So let's just start this here. Um, also, you want to clear out all the buildings in between and around, uh, so the P.E.K.K.A.s usually go inside. Uh, so you also want to use your wizards behind all of that mess. Uh, it didn't work as planned in this video. Um, I was hoping both of those P.E.K.K.A.s would go to the middle. I started, saw, I saw them uh, start going to the left, um, and I was kind of worried, but it still works out. <clears throat> so the golems go ahead. I rage them along with the uh, wizards to take out all the clan castle troops. Also, they go through. They take out all the big bombs, small bombs. So that way my wizards are for the most part pretty safe. I called in my wall breakers a little bit late. Um, but in this one they would have went whatever the hell way they wanted to. Because of the way the space is designed. Um, now I'm healing my wizards just because they're getting hit with mortars uh, and cannons. Put a jump spell in the middle. So that way the golems could get in there. Along with the rest of my troops. Let's get to that center. Clear it out. One expo down. 50% town hall down. And second expo's down. So now it's pretty much just going to be cleaning up the uh, the small stuff in between. Uh, one huge important thing, as you can see on the bottom right-hand corner down here, the queen. That is the um, enemy's queen, obviously. You want to take her head on. Let's say she's somewhere in the middle. You want to go on the side that she's on, because if you go on the opposite side, as soon as those two exclamation marks point up, go above her head, your entire team will follow her, which you will see in my next replay that I do from uh, Last War. <laughs> So now this will just uh, sit back, watch this really quick, use my queen's ability, king's ability is still ready whenever, and I don't really have much left here to take out, so. And I wouldn't say I have plenty of troops left, but I feel like I have a comfortable amount of troops left. Um, but, you know, sometimes you have a lot left, sometimes you have a little left, sometimes it's just the queen and the golem for me, so. Alright, 100%. There we go. Let's go back to the war map. Only done one attack this war so far. So let's go to the clan. Follow the war strategy. Hi, Griff. Hi, Wes. Hi, Willie, again. And let's see here. Oops. Clan castle, clan, warlog, last war. View map. Yeah, for some reason, I'm the only one who did not get attacked last war. I was pretty upset about that. Every other person did. I even had a um, lot, level 2 Lava Hound in there as defense. So, I almost feel bad for the person who had to make that for me. So, I guess, uh, I like that on a good note. So, what we'll do is we'll watch this video first. This is my second attack. It was not the best one. Um, this one I kind of messed up on with uh, placement. But, same strategy. Left, center, right uh, for the golems. Throw the wall breakers in there so that way they can freely get through. So I can drop the uh, jump spell to go through the center buildings. Drop down the pekkas. Left, center, right. They all kind of conform to the center. But <clears throat> for the most part it works out. Um, the only problem that I had with this attack 
was the golems. They both went to the right side. Well, to our right. I'm not sure. Everybody kind of does it differently, but they went to our right, and that really, really screwed me because both the heroes went to the left, and they ended up dying by themselves very slowly, might I add. Big Bomb took out so many troops right there. As you can see, I have uh, I had the jump spell there to get to the center. I had the heal spell going, but that Big Bomb really screwed me. Second Big Bomb to take out the rest of them. But I did get the Town Hall. I'm at 48. 50. So that's the two-star. That's the most important thing for a go wipe. Um, you want to be able to at least get two stars no matter what. But um, three stars is obviously, you know, what you're shooting for. All right, so as you can see, both the golems are up here. Just distracting a couple things, which doesn't really mean much to me. King's gone. Queen's getting low on health. She's getting shot by an archer tower, a mortar, and now another archer tower. So I use her ability. She, of course, takes out the air defense, which is doing no harm to her. And now she's taking out the wall. That's it for her. And that's it for these guys. I don't get anything else. They just sit there and die. So, we'll just end that there. Now, and that was an attack on... Let's see what guy was that. Four events. That was an attack on the eighth guy. I'm pretty sure I attacked the seventh guy before that. And I got a three star on him. Yep, here we go. Two star on the seventh guy. So, one higher... Alright, so exact same thing. Pretty sure I attacked down here, yep. Left, center, right. For the golems, doesn't matter what order you do it in. Uh, but you want them to distract a wide range of everything. You want them to distract as much as possible. Distract. Distract. Yeah, it's getting late. Uh, especially the expos. If they can hold on the expos the entire time, that's awesome. And as you can see, I never pull out the CC troops. I let that happen naturally. And once they do get pulled out, that's usually when I drop the rage. Um, around as many troops as possible. And I do not need the jump spell because my wall breakers went right to the center there. But as you will be able to see here in a second, I actually did need the jump spell. And this is what I was talking about before. The king, he has the two exclamation marks up top. Watch what happens as soon as I kill these last clan castle troops here. Every single one of my troops in the center runs outside to go kill him. That is awful. That's why I like taking the queen head on because she's a pain in my ass. And apparently the king was this time too. So I dropped the jump spell to get back in the center after the king's dead. Take out that second expo. Take out that town hall for the second star. And now all we have left here is cleanup. Damn old people. What's YouTube? <clears throat> Alright. Moving along here. The only thing that I've got left is the queen's ability. And I kind of got nervous. In the bottom right-hand corner there, you can see that I have the um, elixir storage. I completely forgot about that. Usually I would drop like one wizard on there or the archer that I have saved or something. Um, but yeah, let me see here. Let me just speed this up just a little bit because it's kind of boring now. They go that way. Take that out. And I'm glad they split up right here. He goes for the gold collector. She goes for that. Saves a little bit of time because I only had four seconds to spare in this uh, attack, which is unlikely uh, to happen all the time. But I think this is maybe the second or third time where I've been cutting it down to the wire. Dark elixir storage is now gone. They are cruising along, getting to that elixir. And that's it. So there you guys have it. Um,. If you guys have any questions, problems, you guys need some tips, let me know. Also, if you guys are a Town Hall 8, um, non-rushed, uh, let me know in the comments or something like that. Um, we can we can do some adjusting here. A lot of us have second accounts in here just because we only had 30 members at one point. Um, so, I mean, obviously we have a lot of wiggle room to fit some better guys in there. So, um, yeah, we're looking for some strong war members. Uh, we wore back-to-back. -back. Um, so, yeah. If you guys have any questions, like I said, feel free to let me know. Once again, this is DYDXJNOZO. Peace.